This is an exciting day. The day when you are finally able to introduce a pillow, blanket, stuffed animal, just like anything in the crib because your baby is finally old enough. But when is that? What's that best age? Let's talk all about it today. Hi, my name is Sarah and as the lead certified pediatric sleep expert at Your Zen Baby Sleep, I have guided hundreds and hundreds of families with their sleep from the ages of zero all the way up to eight years old. This is such a fun milestone when I get to help a family introduce a pillow blanket, lovey and stuffed animal, and I'm so looking forward to giving you all the tips about it. I always refer back to the American Academy of Pediatrics and their safe sleep recommendations. Once a baby is 12 months old, it is okay to start introducing blankets, stuffed animal, little lovey blankets, into the crib because we know that the risk of SIDS greatly reduces by the time the child is 12 months old, we can then incorporate other things into the crib environment. I'm going to walk you through a timeline of introducing all of these objects to the crib based on development and when I see children can really take to it. So the first thing that I always love to introduce and pair as early as possible is a lovey or a stuffed animal. A lovey is a tiny little blanket. It's probably about a square, 12 by 12, soft silk on one side, like nice fur material on the other, and it has a little animal head at the top. This is an awesome comfort object. It's small, so it's portable. You can take it with you different places. Kids often love to take it and rub it on their face or their cheek or use it kind of as a prop to sleep on. Other kids kind of like to suck on the ends of it. So it can be a really great way to transfer the mechanisms that they're using for soothing right now to an object that they have more control over. This is especially important if your child is a pacifier kid and they still have the pacifier at 12 months, don't freak out, it's fine. They're gonna do fine when they drop it. Dentists usually recommend dropping the pacifier by the age of two or three. If we already have another comfort object that they have paired with, that they associate positively with sleep, it makes the dropping of the pacifier so much easier. Having a lovey has benefits outside of the crib too. It can be the comfort and the soothing object during the daytime. If they fall and they get hurt, they have a lovey that they can snuggle with. If they're starting daycare or school, it can be that comfort object that they bring from home when they might feel like they're missing you. I see so many benefits to loveys, and if you decide to purchase one and start utilizing it, make sure you have multiple of the same one. Make sure you're rotating multiples throughout the day, throughout the night, throughout your week, so that they don't just get fixated on one. Because you can replace multiples, you can't replace just one. Pro parenting tip. Next up is blankets. To be honest with you, I love keeping kids in sleep sacks for as long as possible. So there is nothing wrong with keeping your child in a sleep sack as they're still in the crib through the age of about two or three years old. Sometimes around two years old though, your child will refuse to be in the sleep sack and that's okay. It's not a battle that I'd like to pick. So if your child is starting to refuse the sleep sack, but you still wanna keep them warm throughout the night, it's okay around two years old to introduce a blanket to the crib. I want to level set expectations with you. They will not keep the blanket on all night long. They also will not be able to put it on themselves. It, these are skills that take a really long time. I always lean back on my own experience as a parent with these sleep evolutions and my five and eight year old still move all over their big kit beds and do not sleep under their blankets throughout the entire night, nor do they end up on their pillows most mornings. So understanding that your children are probably not going to sleep in the same way that you sleep at the head of the bed on a pillow under a blanket all night long. And if you are concerned about their warmth or how their body temperature is being regulated at night, then what I want you to do is drop the sleep sack if they won't go in it and then just dress them in appropriate weighted pajamas. The same thing goes for pillows. You can introduce a pillow at any point after the age of 12 months with the expectation that they likely will not sleep on it. They are so comfortable and used to sleeping on just that firm, flat surface. They are not uncomfortable sleeping without a pillow. If you do introduce one, it can be just a small toddler-sized pillow that'll fit their head, nothing too cumbersome. 
And if they use it, great. And if they don't, it's okay as well. Having the pillow and the blanket and getting them used to that feeling will be helpful once they transition out of the crib into the big kid bed around the age of three years old. So if you haven't introduced it by the age of two and a half, I would start to put it in the crib just so they're used to it being around and available um, without the expectation that they're going to be utilizing it in the same way that we do. Tell me all of your questions about introducing Lovey Stuffies pillows and blankets to your child's bed. Head over to the comments, leave them below. I personally respond to all of them. As you are scrolling down, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel so that you are the first to know about the latest and greatest sleep tips. As always, from my living room to yours, thank you so much for joining me today and sweet dreams.